Hey, what's happening party people? It's Pete with Backdrop Bikes. We're doing a quick review on the 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. <whistles> Look at this baby. This thing is cool looking. Uh, this is Harley Davidson's brand new redone model from what I understand. Belt drive, obviously. Uh, single side exhaust with panniers. Uh, really sharp looking bike. It's got the 107 engine in it and uh, adjustable rear shock. It's got uh, single sided brakes on both the front and the back, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a Harley thing, right? But the wheels are really cool looking. I mean, check those babies out, huh? Everything else on this is iconic Harley. Uh, it has a little bit smaller fairing on it than some of the other models, as you can see and it has an LED halo type driving light that goes around the outside ring which is kind of cool. All in all the bike is a little smaller than the other Harleys when you get on it it feels real manageable um, so that's kind of a that's kind of a nice little deal there uh, but again classic Harley styling very plush seat I'm not sure a passenger would be super comfortable on this because it's such a small uh, back seat here on this uh, but the foot pegs do flip down plenty of storage space in the panniers and of course, you've got your classic Harley Davidson iconic single gauge. Everything kind of goes, and it's got a little multifunction display on the very bottom here uh, that will give you all types of goodies. Let's take it for a ride and see how she does, shall we? All right, let's start this baby up and see what she sounds like. <laughs> Listen to that. Again, the low geared iconic Harley starter, just ready to go. I don't think the uh, clutch is adjusted on this because this bike is trying to leave without me. I also have a check engine light on and this bike has 20 miles on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know about that. Anyways, let's get this baby on the road and see what she'll do, shall we? Got your front, your forward facing pegs, forward controls. Responsive shifter, very responsive. Harley does it right with the low end torque. They just, you, you crack the throttle and you go. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And this bike is smaller than the other Harleys, so it's very manageable as far as the uh, feeling, because it's smaller. But it's heavy. You can feel the weight of the bike Fully pegged, just coming over here to feel its handling characteristics, and it does have good handling. I do notice though the brakes on this are not as desirable as one would like, so you really got to pay attention. Uh, of course, on a sport bike or any really real modern bike, you feel more safer with brakes, you can stop the bike in a hurry. This bike does have ABS, but the brakes are so stiff. Ah, feels like I'm trying to open a jar. Here we go. So it pulls off the line just fine. It's got plenty of power. Your riding stance here is very similar to sitting on a horse. Uh, you're You've got a, a nice position in the saddle. Arms are 30 degrees, nice and relaxed. Just an all around nice bike for cruising around. I would say with the reduced windscreen, uh, I can feel the full frontal assault of the wind in my face, but it's really not that bad. Uh, it's kind of refreshing because it's hot out right now, um, but I do feel a lot of wind on my shins and my knee. So uh, I'm not complaining, just trying to be honest here. I think in the rain, if you were riding this bike and it started to rain, you'd get soaked pretty much instantly. There's zero protection. And of course, you know, you're, you're kind of going for something like that. With a bike like this, you want to be out in the open. She cruises right, right along, really nice, solid feel. You know, there's not as much vibration on this bike as I remember from Harleys in the past either. It's actually uh, rather pleasant. But there, it is, there is some, there is 
there is some vibration. It's not immune to vibration. So we'll be negotiating this corner. It's very, very sharp. It's almost like a 120 degree corner. Ah, it's like steering a tank. There we go. We're up. People behind me almost didn't make the corner. They were way on the other side. Craziness. All right. So again, this is not a speed machine. This this bike is not made to uh, go crazy. This is a cruiser. And it does have the word sport in the name. So, you know, obviously Harley is trying to push a, a motorcycle that's got some sportability to it, shall we say. Very pleasant, very very nice ride. Not super loud, uh, of course, with all the regulations, we probably have to uncork the exhaust a little bit. But the, the ride on this is not bad at all. It's, it's very comfortable, it's not aggressive. I feel like my feet are gonna touch the ground when I'm going over corners though, because of the, the position of the, of the pegs being out quite a ways in front of me. Uh, it's just a, it's an interesting sensation. <laughs> So again, it, this bike uh, just cruises right along. We're not really turning uh, too many RPMs, but it has that iconic torque right down low. Just crank the throttle, you can feel it come on. It's really nice. I'm in fourth uh, gear, now I'm in fifth. You can feel it's, there's no power there. It's, it's too bogged. And then of course, sixth gear is like insanely low yeah, it's like dirt bike weekend today yeah sure. there we go so i think fourth gear on a road like this is kind of where it feels like it wants to be we've got a little power band and uh it's not over tacking so yeah beautiful day out today too to test drive this beautiful bike now i'd be curious about the windshield uh if they make a bigger one for it I could see that that would be desirable on long trips. I'm not sure this bike would be a bike you really would want to take a, you know, cross country or maybe even a, a longer drive. But uh, set up right now, the way this bike is, is, is very pleasant to ride through the countryside. Do you guys have a Harley? Have you uh, considered a sport glide like this? This might be a good purchase for you. Again, a lot of nice features built into the bike right out of the gate. I do like the multifunction display too. It's It's got your fuel gauge, gear indicator, mileage, everything right up, right in one little spot. And it's, and it's simplistic looking. The brakes on this are really not that good. I, I will, I'm gonna complain about that. Very stiff. So, uh, just for, just uh, for comparison, if I was on like a uh, my Triumph Scrambler 1200, if I were to squeeze the front brakes with the same amount of force that I'm squeezing with these, <laughs> it would launch me over the front. And if I were to uh, do that on the last bike I demoed, you'll see on my channel here the Pan American, I, I would completely flip the bike over backwards. But this thing right here, you've got to grab onto that handle and pull it for all she's worth, uh, or it's not going to stop. And maybe that's just the design they have for it, but in my opinion, it's it's pretty rugged. Kind of interesting on this bike too. I, I'm, I'm curious at what type of uh, options you can get on it. I see factory, it comes with cruise control. So Harley's really adapted the drive-by-wire setup. Um, I heard this, this bike obviously is fuel injected. So, you know, Harley's bringing a lot of the new technology to the game, which is which is great. Of course, they've probably been on bikes for quite a while, but it's nice to see uh, the adaption taking place. The engine really, it really does purr, and there really isn't that much vibration in the handles uh, compared to some of the other bikes I've ridden from Harley. So it's not a bad bike. It's, it's comfortable, nice rake to driving position, laid back, very comfortable on the back, um, but. I think it's a stretch to call this a sport bike. 
So we're on the uh, back side of the speedway so we can crack our open a little bit once we get in the open here. Uh, really enjoy this bike. It's just a laid back bike. It's got good manners. It's not overly aggressive. However, I'm not sure of the sport glide situation. What's going on, dogs? What's up, dog? Here we go. So right about there, it is quite buzzy. Just do a little engine braking. Shifting, shifting wise, really solid, really solid. Yeah, that's nice. She got some nut. But the wind pressure on your foot is quite excessive. Uh, almost trying to pull your foot off of the shifter. And then uh, the brakes. Maybe it's because this bike is so new that the brakes are so bad. I don't know. Anyways, uh, as I normally do, I'll give this a 0 to 10 rating. And I would put this, I'd put this at a solid 6.5. Throw the specs on the screen for you. As always, please ride safe. <laughs>